Hello, yogis. I would like to practice with you today uplifting position, back bend. We are going to go to back bend either from the standing position or from lying down on the back. So it's up to you, to your uh, flexibility and your level of yoga practice. So we'll start from the standing position and you can watch it and then do it or you can do it with me. I will try to be helpful with the uh, indications. So if you suffer from any back pain, back problems, maybe you just want to watch it and make sure that you enjoy your stomach muscles in order to do the back bends. So you step to the front of your mat or you just can be wherever you are in the comfort of your home. Legs are hip width distance. You place hands behind your back. So I have done already the live uh, rocket yoga practice on uh, Instagram. So I'm quite warm. But if you haven't practiced with me, then uh, just take precautions and be very gentle with your body step by step. You don't have to do it now. You can return to it. So as I'm pressing with my hands towards my back, lower back, I'm pushing hips forward. So I'm just trying to find arch in my back. Then I'm releasing head back. I'm coming back up in here. And as I'm exhaling, I'm pushing hips forward again. This time I'm going slightly farther back with my head. Coming back up, inhale, and exhale, going back, farther back, I'm going to start sending my legs, releasing hands back, I'm on my toes as I release my hands back, as I'm on my feet and hands, I rock front and back, balancing on my feet and hands. And I'm trying to reach farther forward with my body's weight, shoulders in line with my ribs. Here, you can bend elbows and stretch your arms if you want to improve strength in your arms and back flexibility. Now, as so I stretch my arms, I move weight forward. I step to the center of the mat and lift one leg up. I bend and stretch my elbows, flex and point my top foot. Then I point and push up and lower foot down. Then I swap my legs, lifting the other leg up and bending elbows and stretching. Flexing and pointing my toes. Flex and point up foot. Reach all the way up through your toes pointed. Bend your leg, reach down. You can walk feet forward, hands slightly back. Join legs together. Press down to your hands. Rotate hat from side to side. Relax, head down, strong arms and legs. And you're gonna walk your feet towards you and lifting right arm up, hips down, then reaching back and overhead. And the other hand goes up. Now you're gonna release hips down and roll spine down to the ground, vertebra by vertebra. And join knees together. Hold your knees with your hands and rock from side to side. And then you can rest your legs down, so so feet together, knees apart, palms on top of your belly. So if you have done this uh, 
back arch from the standing position. You can just rest here or continue stretching your back with these two chest. If you haven't done it and you want to do it from your back, so you just point knees up towards the ceiling, feet are flat on the mat, palms beside your body pressing down, inhale, exhale, engage your center, imprint back to the floor, imprint hands and feet to the ground, inhale and exhale, curve spine up. Inhale, roll spine down, vertebra by vertebra. And exhale, roll spine up. So you warm up your back here. As you lift hips up, you hold your bridge. You might walk your hands towards your heels, reaching with your shoulders and elbows in and pushing hips up. You can also send hands underneath your lumbar spine, push hips up, lifting heels up. If you want to go to full wheel pose, you can lower heels down, placing hands by your ears, fingers pointing towards your shoulders, pressing down through your palms, inhale, exhale, push hips up, rest top of your head on the mat. And then push ground away, press down to your hands, push hips up, rock front and back. Make sure that your legs are not too far apart, where they want to be closer in. Legs hip width distance, arm shoulders distance, where it's nice to lift heels up and rock front and back. And here you can do the same variations we have done before. As you find the center, you lift one leg up. And then you swap, lift the other leg up. Lower foot down, walk feet forward, stretch your legs, stretch your arms, join legs together. Push ground away, relax, head down. To come off the position, walk feet towards your hands, release your upper body down. So if you don't suffer from these conditions, you can release your knees down and heels underneath your buttocks. Otherwise, just lie down on your back with knees to chest. So I'm opening my hip flexors here. Opening my knees and ankles, knees are apart, toes are in. You can take also hero pulse, knees in, feet out. And to release position, either come up or reset your legs by lying down on the back with legs crossed. Draw knees to chest, give them a hug, and rock from side to side. Reach up with your heart, you can press your legs and grab your ankles with your hands or big toes, and sending legs towards you, feet towards you. It's nice to send. Relax towards you by holding your shins. And then rise head up and swap your cross leg position. You can bind big toes or hold onto your shins. Rock from side to side. Find the center. John legs in, rise head up, reach up with your legs, take a few rolls back and forward, and have hands behind your knees. As you come up, let's take 
both palms can have like spent or extended holding onto your ankles or holding the back of your legs with your hands bringing head to your legs finding your breath in and out lengthening spine in your legs holding arms beside your body point your feet or flex bent legs join those in place hands on top of your feet or under underneath your legs inhale look up and exhale lengthen spine and release head down take a moment here relax your upper body relax the whole body feel opening in your hips as you are lengthening your back stretching it Inhale, exhale, curl spine up, place palms around your ankles. Inhale, exhale, take a moment with eyes closed. Relax your face and shoulders. Place hands at the heart center in the prayer position. Thank yourself for this practice and challenging your back with the back arches, back bends, and come back to this practice at any time. You can find it on YouTube, Slow Move channel. Inhale, reach up through your hands towards the ceiling and exhale, place thumbs at the heart center. Thank you guys for joining in.